everyone welcome back to a new session on dentistry no? so today we have a very small topic that is utilization of dental services so it is commonly asked for three marks or four marks so utilization uh, means nothing but uh, how many people are utilizing the dental services so there are many factors which involves uh, utilization of dental services so not all people can afford it uh, there are many factors uh, based on like education, socioeconomic status, cultural factors, their affordability, uh, the basic income of the patient. So many factors are involved in utilization of dental services. So let's see what are the factors. So the first one is the patient must feel that the course of action that will prevent alleviate the disease for him. So that is the first and foremost thing that is it, it should be the felt need so the need we are dealing uh, here so if it is a normative need that is if a clinician says that or a, if <clears throat> based on the other's opinion he has some problem he will not go to a dentist and utilize a dental service unless and until he feels the problem um, he will not visit a dentist so first of all he should feel it that he need to use or utilize the dental services and that will prevent or alleviate the diseases for him and he must feel that the disease is potentially serious and they are <clears throat> also having feeling that they are susceptible to disease so these are the basic factors which involves in utilization of dental services and let's see what are the types of uh, needs uh, which was given by Bradshaw in 1972 so the basic need is normative need so if just take an example of a dentist and a patient. So a patient has a few caries which is not uh, symptomatic, is not having any pain. So the dentist says <clears throat> the patient needs restoration or filling. That is normative need. That is what the dentist feels. And it is based on the normative norms. So he says the patient requires filling, not the patient says. So that is normative need and not all the people will act upon normative need. Few people might act based on the dentist's decision. But if a patient is having pain and he feels that the pain should be alleviated and he has a cavity and it should be removed, uh, the caries should be removed and it gets filled. So that is what he feels about his problem and he feels that it needs to be restored or it needs to be corrected that is the felt need so felt need and normative need is entirely different for the same problem if it is a felt need the patient would definitely go to a dentist and would do the restoration and he will do the procedures which can alleviate or correct the problem so when the felt need he goes to the dentist and he expresses it, it becomes express need. And when comparative need, it always comes with uh, the malocclusion. So at a teenagers, uh, it is the most common thing. Uh, when he feels, or a person, or a male, or female, boy, or girl, he feels other person's teeth are very aligned. And uh, he asks oh, what, what was the... Uh, uh, treatment and so he he or she might say that a uh, person went for a orthodontic therapy so he compares his teeth with the other person's teeth and he might feel that he also should go for that particular treatment because he compares his teeth his aligned teeth and with the orthodontic treatment done patient's teeth so that time he feels that there is a need of tooth correction or alignment correction for his teeth that is a comparative need. So, always a normative need, the patient would not use or utilize the dental services and very rare chances. <clears throat> but if it is a felt need when it is expressing and comparative need, the patient will utilize the services. So, let's see what are the increased demand of uh, services when the uh, services would go on an increasing fashion. So, if there is a very gross increase in population there is a lot of people in society and there is a lot of urbanization is happening so people is coming to urban side there the most dentists are located than compared to the rural side and education if the patient, population's education is improving their awareness also will improve their 
uh, knowledge about the dental problems its consequences will improve so they definitely go for a utilization of services and occupational changes when <clears throat> their uh, occupation changes they might uh, get the treatment done because uh, the lower uh, strata occupations uh, and um, their uh, affordability will be a factor and they have a better occupation uh, they would go for a treatment and sometimes some occupations requires a better um, utilization of dental service which are aesthetically demanding one and income per capita so if patient has a good income if patient can afford the treatment he would definitely visit the dentist because dentistry is always an expensive area so affordability is a big concern if patient has money he would definitely go but other factors are also involved but uh, income is a big factor for an increased demand of services so what is the opposite of this <clears throat> so what time so on what occasions there is decreased demand or depressed demand when the dental care is becoming expensive so right now it is a corona period so covid 19 is uh, affected most of the dentistry or dental branch so they have to increase the demand because of the uh, the appliances what they use the ppe kits and the extra precautions for the dentist take though so they are charging more so some of the patients who would utilize treatment will back off because of this expensive dental care and cost of travel so that also uh, will be a concern because if patient has to travel a lot the accessibility is less the patient would not use the services and time loss from if patients work duration is and uh, interfered with the utilization he would not go for it utilization of service and cost of child care and families with more children so the basic thing is affordability if patient can afford the patient would utilize the dental services so more children means the requirement of more money so there is less chance of uh, the parents utilize the dental services so let's summarize the factors affecting utilization age so age is a big factor at the teenagers uh, would definitely go for treatment they consider they insist parents to take up because they have comparative need uh, their uh, colleagues or their friends might suggest him or her to take up a treatment and gender the female gender would always uh, aesthetically more concerned so they would take up utilize or they would utilize it compared to the male gender and education if the better education better awareness better knowledge of diseases so they would go for utilization socioeconomic status the higher strata would utilize it compared to the lower strata higher income the same way socioeconomic status occupation if a relaxed occupation a nine to four occupation and a occupation which has free time definitely utilizes residency if it has an urban setup and compared to rural you will utilize it Social cultural factors, the cultural uh, factors like uh, the fasting period, the Muslims uh, would, uh, would not seek a utilization of dental services. So such factors are also involving utilization. Social psychological factors, if patient is uh, not very happy with the dentist and patient is apprehensive, uh, is having dental anxiety, he would not utilize an organizational factor. Sometimes uh, patients uh, visit is dependent by the organizational factors the organizations which are involved in the utilization and economic factors the economic factors is nothing but uh, it involves uh, income patients occupation and other factors so these are the basic factors which involves utilization of dental services so it's a former question so you can uh, explain it uh, under these heading like factors the need and uh, these factors uh, on what condition the demand increases and what conditions demand decreases and you can explain in your own words like I said like age gender education social economic status and all other factors okay so I'll come up with a new session on dentist channel